Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see the solution to the hacker problem number of cycles. So this was the first problem of May Circuits 2020 and it was the easiest problem and it had a pretty high number of uh, submissions. So you can see that in the question it's given that we have a n-sided regular polygon and we have connected the center of the polygon with all the vertices and which will divide the polygon into n equal parts. So we want to find the count of simple cycles that exist in the modified structure of the polygon. So it is a very simple problem and by the constraints you can see that you can't even do one loop. The answer will be there in either O of n or O of log n. So here you can see that the answer will be in O of n which is by a formula. But there was some confusion about what is a simple cycle which I saw in the comments. So I'll just clear that for a, like with here. So suppose we'll, we'll be given n where n is the number of sides of that regular polygon. So when n is equal to 3, we'll have a triangle. So we'll just uh, do what it's said to do, meaning that we'll join all the vertices to the center. Center will be some uh, someplace around here. So we'll jo we're joining all the vertices to the center. Now, this is the modified structure. Now, the number of uh, cycles means that the number of polygons, meaning the number of closed figure. So the number of closed figure will be this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, so 3, and then this whole triangle, 4, and then there are 3 more, which you can see is this polygon. This is 4 sides, you can see like a paper aeroplane, and likewise this and this. So there will be 7. So like this, it's working, but you don't even need to know that because you can just see a simple pattern. So right now the custom input is not compiling, it is stuck on evaluating, so I'll just you can see from the, te the test cases given itself. So for 3 the answer is 7, for 4 the answer is 14. So it is very simple to see that it is simply nothing but n into n minus 1 plus 1. So you can see that it is 3, 3 from uh, 3 into 2 will get 6 plus 1 7, 4, 4 into 3 12 plus 1 13. So in these problems where like there's not a lot of explanation given and it is supposed to be very easy. So there's usually a formula in that. So what you can do is right now I can show you because it's not working. Yeah, here we go. So what you can simply do is for example, uh, custom input. So just say five. So suppose I don't know the answer. Suppose I don't know the answer, but I want to know what will be the answer for three, four, five, six and seven. So I want to know what will be the answer for these. Even if I don't know the answer, the custom input is going to tell you. Like it says, the it tells the answer for the correct output for the test cases that you've given. So once you do that, right now it's taking a while. So just try this and it will tell you what should be the supposed output. And you'll see that all of the output with the input has a correlation or a formula, which is simply n into n minus 1 by 2. So that is it. So that was my code. Simply just take n and answer is 0 and I don't even need 0 I just initialize it like that so ll answer is equal to n into n minus 1 plus 1 and that is the answer simply so the main thing is observing patterns and this wasn't even a pattern just if you'd pro if you'd seen the test cases you would have been uh, you could have gotten that the formula is n into n minus 1 by 2 so that's all thank you